So let's go to day number two. Let's see what drama's in here. Seriously, give this highlight a thumbs up. She's trying here, okay? She's trying. Give me a little thumbs up, girl. Don't be a little shady lady. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. Oh my god, we got some drama, huh? Start the video, girl. Yeah. Miss Thing. You won't believe the drama that's going on, okay? I believe this has been going on for about three days and there's been multiple videos about this drama. So, Zoella has been exposed, girl. You already know, in true fashion, Zoella, anything for views, girl, is at it again. What happened was she created this thing called an advent, advent calendar. And I actually have one, girl. So, this is my advent calendar. And you open it up. And there's, you know, they're, they're marked until the 12 days. So it's basically 12 days. Every day you open up a little gift. That is an advent calendar. Well, Zoella came out with one. Now, YouTubers who release merchandise, that's, that's nothing new. Everybody does it. So it's Christmas time. Zoella came out with this advent calendar. And people were excited about it. And of course, the drama was... People threw a fit when they found out two things. One, how much it costs, which let me be fair to her, she has then lowered the price. It was $50 for this 12 days of Zoella calendar, girl. Goodies inside. And then it has been exposed that the products inside were like Dollar Tree dollar stuff. Oh, like a bat, like one of the items in there was a bag of confetti, little confetti, girl. Really? So Zoella has claimed that she's worked hard on this thing and so she probably knew the price about it. Everybody is balling on a budget these days. There's this video of this girl and I'm gonna put her right here. She is the first girl, the first girl on YouTube to review the Zoella 12 Days of Christmas blah blah drama. Well, in the video, she has then made other videos and she has gained a lot of subscribers over all the drama for exposing what happened. Now, to be true to the girl, she didn't go into the video trying to expose or debunk. She actually did the video and everything was amazing and fabulous. She's really excited about everything. It was in the comments down below that people were like, wait a minute, girl. All that stuff is a dollar and together it's like $10 worth of product and you're selling it for 50 and this girl's all excited for it. She wasn't faking it. I think she had a generous, honest response to the unboxing. And you know, she was just starting on YouTube. She doesn't want to get on YouTube, start drama for views. She was just doing a video. So I know y'all are like, next, next, hurry up, get with the drama, honey. I thought we would talk about some of the stuff that was in the calendar, girl. Okay, so one thing in the calendar was a cookie cutter, okay? She opened it up, she exposed that there was this cookie cutter in there. And honestly, girl, I've been to the dollar store and I've seen this type of stuff, like little, everybody has cookie cutter for Christmas, girl. A little gingerbread man star moon whatever it is drama little emojis girl whatever I cannot believe that was in here next up we have like a little puffy ball okay and I've also seen that too I remember the puffy ball trend started like a couple years ago and it wasn't until the brand Fendi did the whole Fendi monster balls and those were like six seven hundred dollars and it was just a little fur with a little face on it and then I think Michael Kors knocked it off started doing his own and then ended up at the Dollar Tree the family dollar Walmart whatever girl, everybody has them and so so this is it and you already know the little ball is not made out of luxury product like some type of animal fur or anything like that to even cost a lot of money that probably just synthetic little hairs little fibers thrown in the little box girl and I don't know I think that trend has died so I don't know why Zoella will even put it in there girl unless you want it to just throw whatever in the box okay so next up we have the pencil case we've all seen pencil cases before the girl in the video was so excited for it. Uh, I guess you could put your makeup brushes and stuff like that, but it was just, oh, so boring, girl. You know, if I spend $50 and I already got a damn pencil case, a cookie cutter, and a fur ball, girl, you already know this box is gonna go downhill from here, girl. Then here it is, the little box, the little bag of confetti. Girl, really, why would you give somebody confetti? Like, what? what is she gonna do with it? Like. I don't even know what, like, throw it on somebody's head or something. Like, girl, seriously, confetti, girl? Confetti. 
That's a, people are selling confetti now. Really? Okay. All right, then the next thing we have like this little thing. It's a Christmas ornament, but I think people call it different things, different places of the world. You just hang it on your tree and it says Mary and Bride and then $50, $50. <laughs> then we have a pen. <laughs> a pen, girl. A pen. Next up we have, I think that's like some type of spray. Oh, it's a room spray, girl. It makes your room smell good. That I actually like. That was, that was kind of cute, okay? Then we have this little bitty, itty, tiny little Dollar Tree candle girl that probably ain't even gonna smell. If you have a small restroom, put the candle in there, probably smell that girl, but that was a little, little girl, really, Dollar Tree the house. Oh, and then we have a notebook. Don't forget, we need our Zoella notebook for $50. Oh my god. So we have this little bitty, itty bitty notebook that's really small. You, as you can see now, it's starting to add up to like, you know what, cause you probably came to the video like, but then you're gonna leave at this point in the video like, because there's so much drama, girl. Then, for whatever reason, she throw in another candle. This one's a little bigger. That was cute. That was a lot better than that little bitty itty candle, girl. So this one was cute. So far, two things I like. The room spray, the candle, but they're both fragrances. I don't need too much fragrances. And you know they're not the same fragrance, girl. So they're going to be colliding if you put them together in one room. Then we have stickers to go with your busted ass confetti the house. She decided to throw in some stickers, girl. So you know the girls are just so excited. Love it so much. Okay, so... The backlash continued, finally got to Zoella, girl. I don't know what she did, she called her people up. And it was originally $50, but because of all the hate and the criticism and the comments and people are just so upset, girl, it is now, last time I checked, $25. So the Zoella drama is now $25. Still not even worth the $25, girl, okay? Everything on that list I could pick up at the store myself. I do not love Zoella that much to get Zoella confetti and Zoella notebook, girl. Like, seriously, no, ma'am. I, I am many things, but a fool is not one of them, girl. Not tonight. So, as you look at the packaging, it says, Zoella, all you need is Xmas. So, I don't understand that. Whatever, girl. I would have loved to see. If you're going to keep it cheap, okay, throw in a little Santa hat, you know. Throw in a little... Maybe a little pin or something, you know, a little enamel pin. I don't know, makeup remover wipe, something. Maybe I just would love to it be all beauty related. It just seemed like it was just thrown together. To be fair, I'm pretty sure Zoella's a lovely woman. And she's probably nice and people love her so much. However, I just think that it was a kind of a miss at this point. Uh, I think sometimes as YouTubers, you get all these comments and all these praise and people love you and all you do is make videos. And so you have that kind of, you kind of have like this sense of like, I'm better than you or like I'm higher than thou type of thing. So everything you put out, people are just going to be so excited for. Uh, this time I think people called it out and I think it was justly called out. I'm not a Zoella hater. I'm just calling it like I see it as a professional consumer. I feel like it was a, no ma'am, no ma'am, okay? And to the girl who made the video showing the items off, like I said, she made a, she made two videos, girl. She capitalized on the drama. One video about she, how excited she was about the stuff and showed it to you. Other video, she talked about all the drama she got and explained herself. And it was a very, and I love her accent too. It's a very good video. So speaking of drama, girl, I want to show you, I finally got the Jeffree Star Christmas collection right here, girl. I was really excited the way it looks. Like, you see how it just like shines? Like, I was not expecting that. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh. I kind of wish it went all the way down. I had less of all this other writing and stuff because I feel like it distracts from all the beautiful glitter. But I'm going to show you this one. And then I also got this one, the little bullet one, a pink glittery bullet. Like, Oh my god, are you serious? This is really cool. You know, we talk about Jeffree Star so much on this channel. And I'm not a Jeffree Star hater. I do disagree with some stuff, but I can separate the man from the makeup. And these are actually really good packagings. And it has been exposed that these packagings will not be ongoing. Like once it's gone, it's gone. It's cost a lot of money to make, you know, packaging like this. So I think going forward, I believe what I heard going forward, he's just going to go with the standard packaging. Uh, so this was just for the holiday. So I'm going to swatch this one for you. So this is Christmas Cookie. And I really do love this one a lot. 
I really do think it is uh, comparable to my other favorite lippy, which was by Tarte Cosmetics. I think it was called Birthday Suit or Party. I forgot the name of it, but I do like it because it matches my lip, which I have it on right now. And then I have Champagne Tears. And you can see it's kind of discolored because I put it over the topper. So I'm going to try to put some right in here. I'm just going to get rid of that topper stuff on there. So let me just go. Here we go. That's better for you. So yeah, so basically this makes whatever you put it on glitter. There's a little bitty glitter in there. You can see that, boom. But it's it's kind of like, to me it's kind of hit or miss because I do like it though. Uh, you can kind of feel like the grains of the glitter a little bit. And it's, and it's not like a smooth glitter. And I think it really depends, like I think on a liquid lip it will look better. I wish this formula was like more of a liquid lip. I think I would have been awesome. But you can see, you know, okay, so if this is your lip right here, right? Okay. So if this is your lip right here and you just put it over it, let me show you. You see how it just kind of gives it like a little bit of sheen to it, like not too much, just a little bit. Makes your lip a little bit glittery. So I really am happy with those two products. Everything else, like I said, I passed on, those two stuck out to me the most. I'm really happy about those. However, I have the advent calendar from Target and I wanted to just open it with you together and we can see what's inside and all the drama. Okay, so here is one and Let's see what we got here. Girl, my finger stuck the house, girl. There it goes, okay. All right, this is the Maybelline Great Lash. I thought it was just, girl, where's it, where's it going? What the hell? Girl, what the hell? Girl, what the hell? It says, May right here, look, open it up. It says Jet Set, and it says Maybelline Great Lash. And then this, and then this came out. I don't even know what this is. It's a hydrating mask uh, for normal to dry hair. Not even, I thought it went on your face, evidently not. It goes in your hair. All right, so let's go to day number two. Let's see what drama's in here. Girl, every time, girl. Why can't things just work perfectly? That always got to be drama involved. All right, see what's in here. All right. Oh, look, found it. So I don't know what this is. Let's find out. Okay, so this is the Acure Eye Cream with some type of extract I've never heard about. Moving on, let's see what else we got. Okay, girl, what is this drama right here? Okay, so this is gonna be the Argon Hair Oil. Is this good, guys? Let me know if this is good, I don't know. I don't think I forgot about the drama that happened up here. Cock at the house, live on video. And you saw I had opened it live with you. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe it could have fallen out. But if they, did, I didn't get anything in there. Oh, girl, serious? All right, let's see here. So, I don't know what this is, let's find out. So this is the NYX Illuminating Stick. Something, I think it says Bright Idea, so it's a illuminator. Um, yeah, I think let's open it, see what this actually is. All right, so it goes like that, and then we'll put this, and I'll put this right here. So it's like a, oh, it's like a purple highlight. Girl, hold on. Look at the house, girl. Put it on so it looks nice for the video. Just enough, just enough so I can take your man. Well, now you gotta like buff it in there, girl, so you can look snatched, there you go. That was cute, I don't know if I'll use the pink, purple, whatever, but it's cute. Moving on to this scam. Uh, let me see, what do we got here? This one's kinda big, girl. Yes, honey! Jackpot the house! Okay. So we have, girl, I, I love these. Okay, so this is the e.l.f. It's not a lipstick, but it, it's in the shape of a, list, a lipstick, right? So this is what it is. It has this really cool, like, uh, like grainy, it's like a grainy material. 
And so it's an it's an exfoliator for your lips. So you just kind of like put it on your lips and it gets rid of all the dead skin cells and just like wash your lips off really good. And it smells really good too, just a little bit. I really do like this. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so then we also got, what is this right here? The Great Lash. This is legendary. It is the Great Lash. Maybelline, the Maybelline Great Lash. But then this said right here, Maybelline Great Lash. So I find it kind of weird how the Maybelline Great Great Lash should have been up. I mean, for one, like you open one, you get nothing. And then it went on eight. It was just kind of weird. Okay, whatever. And then two was, and then two was the e.l.f. exfoliating, exfoliating lip. And that was in here. And then that, the, the whole science behind that was kind of weird. Like, why would you have one, two, and not have the items in there. So the first day of Christmas, you don't get anything. Second day of Christmas, you don't get anything. And then however, it just happens to be here all together for you. So maybe it's kind of like, maybe it's not a scam. Maybe it's kind of like, oh, I'm so excited to get something. Ah, uh, but at least I know what I might get somewhere on in the journey. Is that what it's supposed to be like? Because if it is, I don't really get it. I'm used to opening up some and getting it. Don't, don't tempt me, don't tease me, girl, okay? So here we go, moving on with this scam. What do we got here? Pixie Glow Tonic. Okay, so this is the Pixie Glow Tonic Exfoliator. It's a toner. I never tried Pixie before, so we see how that goes. All right, moving right along. We got some more drama over here. Let me see, open it up. All right, so this is the Bitchy booster. Uh, I guess it's for your skin. Girl, moving on. All right, so that was this part of the box. Now we're gonna move on to this side. I wish I could just like tear it, but here we are. All right, so here we go. So day 12, we got some in there. Uh, this is the sea foam, this is the sea foam complete, complete face wash. What brand is this? By Pacifica. All right, here we go. I'm excited for this one. Yes! Girl! Drop, girl. What am I gonna do with these? These eyelashes, the house? Girl, no ma'am. Girl. I'm just so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, moving on. Multitasking. I could use a good beauty blender. I think we all can, girls. I actually like that one. Okay, and then we have, what the hell? Honest Beauty. Um, yeah, it's a fragrance by Honest Beauty. So as you can see here, this was the Target drama that I unboxed with you live on camera. As always, if you enjoy the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters so when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. Don't forget, I do have merchandise down below, so check it out if you want. Seriously, give this highlight a thumbs up. She's trying here, okay? She's trying. Give the video a little thumbs up, girl. Don't be a little shady lady. All right, see you next video. Peace. Bye. I love you so much.